This video will be for the shelf bra where we'll be putting padding into um, basically the lining of maybe a sports bra, swimwear. It could be used for a couple different types of garments. Um, but we will cut our main shelf bra piece out of a four-way stretch fabric, so an athletic or swimwear fabric. And then you'll need either two pre-made purchased um, bra cups, or you can cut this pattern piece from a thin, smooth padding that would go um, inside where it would touch the bust. Okay, the first thing we need to do on this sample is mark where these cups are going to go. So we're going to match up this apex um, marking here, drill hole. So I'm going to mark through and get that dot. It's a little hard to see on camera, but I've got it here on both sides. Okay, so we're marking that on the right side of our fabric. Again, this would be like a lining of a swimwear or of a top. So the right side of the fabric is going to face your skin. And then I'm gonna mark that apex on my cups as well. So that I can match those up. So if I push a pin right through, I can match that up to the center of the marking on my top. And then just pin around the edges. Okay, once we have this pinned, we're gonna take this over to our domestic machine, and we're going to do a zigzag stitch around the edge, catching the edge of that fabric or of that padding um, to secure these down to our inside layer of our garment. At the machine, I'm set up with my walking foot, standard um, all-purpose thread for top and bottom, and a single needle. And I'm on a zigzag stitch, standard width is a three, so I can keep it there. And then I push my stitch length up to a 2.5. So now I'm just going to start at the corner of my cup. And again, I want the zigzag to catch that edge of my fabric. So the right side of my zigzag should hit onto my base fabric, which in this case is the blue and black. And then the left side of the zigzag should hit onto my cup. And I just want that right side to barely go over. Start with my back stitch and then go ahead and go on. So I'm lining up the edge of my cup with where that right side of my zigzag is hitting, which for me is right at the edge of my hole inside my foot. So I'm just watching that and making sure that the edge of my cup stays right there.
my cup my cup fabric keeps trying to flip up so I'm just smoothing it back down every once in a while okay once you get to the other corner you'll have to make sure your needles down so you can pivot So this is what I mean where it's trying to flip up in between my feet. So when that happens, I just make sure my needle's down so I don't lose my spot. And then I can put it back down before I continue. Okay, at the very end, I'll end with a back stitch, and then I can pull this out and cut off my thread tails. And repeat that same process for your other cup. Okay, once we have those both stitched on, we want to remove the excess bulk from this cup area. We don't want this very bulky. We want a, as smooth a transition from padding to regular fabric as possible, so you're not seeing the outline of that cup when you're wearing the garment. So on the back side, we're going to just cut away that layer of fabric that's inside our stitching. So I'm gonna pull it up so I can just get that one layer I'm not cutting my padding and just go around and very um, carefully cut this away so you're not cutting into your stitches and again this is just removing some bulk so that it makes that transition from padding to the rest of your garment a little bit smoother This is the part of your garment that would face the shell. So this part will ultimately not be visible as you're wearing the garment. Okay, so once you've got that done, that'll be the end of your sample, making sure you do that for both cups. And then once this was ready to go in a garment, most likely we would end it with an elastic um, band here at the bottom. So it hugs the under bust area, and then this would get sewn into the main part of your garment.